गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू राज मेहोत्रा आई एस अकेडमी वेलकम टू अर डेली न्यूज पेपर हिंदू एनालिसिस आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल टू एवरी वन एंड होप यू आर ऑल फिट एंड फाइन एंड रेडी टू स्टार्ट द सेशन फॉर टूडे राइट गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन यस मुस्कान आई हैव टोल्ड यू यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट अस ऑन द नंबर गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अवेल द पंजाब पी सी एस बैच राइट गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ओके गाइज सो हम गाना स्टार्ट द सेशन फॉर टूडे आई थिंक वी नो that this cold weather has gripped the parts of the northern india so we need to be a bit like vigilant about it and try to maintain our health right okay now this is the latest development if i talk about that has happened right i think everyone knows the situation if i talk about covid is very very severe right now in china also in certain parts of the world the problem is on a little bit rise but there is a serious problem that is going on in china the problem that is going on china related to covid is basically this bf7 variant very very important this bf7 variant of corona virus that is causing a lot of problem in the let's say in the china but surprisingly this particular variant was let's say identified in certain cases in the month of july in gujarat and odisha very very important to understand this particular strain was identified in the parts of gujarat and odisha but itna severe nahi tha but it was not that much severe if i talk about the problem it created in let's say india as compared to the problem or the havoc it has created in china so as a result because this variant has caused a lot of problem in china so our health uh, we could say ministries have become vigilant about it and they have asked the states to increase their vigilance and let's say ask the people of the country to be more vigilant to have a little bit of social distancing norms and to get themselves vaccinated now one thing we need to be very very sure about is that this thing that is corona virus we need to be aware of the let's say the consequences of it so we have to be more aware regarding uh, related to this yes so as a result health ministry ne ek meeting convene kari thi jahan pe ek national covid task force ko bhi bulaya gaya tha to assess the basically situation that is there in china and what could be the effects of this particular variant in india and i hope over the period of time we are uh, it is not that much severe as it has happened in china and we are able to follow the proper norms and get ourselves vaccinated if we haven't yet get vaccinated abhi right okay so this was a news aur ye thoda ab interesting mode le raha hai right so we have to be very very careful and aware about this particular situation right okay there was nothing much there on the front page of today's newspaper hardly anything that is debatable upon and we shall be discussing right so moving to the next thing okay now i think everyone knows about recently under project 15b we have commissioned ins marmagao i think everyone is aware of this right so it is a very very important for our strength of the navy so there was a particular this thing that came in the text page editorials we will discuss at the last but this was the thing that came in the text page related to ins marmagao or this project 15b if we talk about this project 15b it had its inception in the year 1990 where project 15 was launched as a result we wanted to add certain missile power to our already existing ships hame apne ships ke upar guided missile system leke aana tha so as a result we had this project 15 under project 15 we had the delhi class of ships jaise abhi jo naam hai project 15b ke andar this is basically visakhapatnam class right so initially we had the delhi class it was followed by project 15a or it was also known as the kolkata class which primarily focused on advanced technology and equipment in surface ships so it is basically about upgrading the technology and upgrading let's say our missiles on the surface ships so project 15 was related to delhi class 15a was related to kolkata class and project 15b 
और वी कॉल इट एज द विशाखापटनम क्लास इज द वेपन इंटेंसिव फॉलो अप टू प्रोजेक्ट फिफ्टीन ए डिस्ट्रॉयर्स राइट द लीडरशिप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट फिफ्टीन बी इज बेसिकली विशाखापटनम दैट वॉज फर्स्ट टू बी कमीशन Besides INS Marmagao, there are other two destroyers that are to be commissioned between 2023 and 2025. So you need to be aware of these particular facts because these are now very very important. Considering the increasing presence of let's say China in this particular Indian Ocean region, right? So as a result, we have to upgrade our uh, let's say arm strength. so as a result this particular project 15 becomes very very important not only project 15b but also project 15a now here comes the thing what are the technological uh, additions that or the technological capabilities that we have related to project 15b it is very very important to understand what are the technological capabilities so let's try to see what are the technological capabilities of this project 15b first of all very very important they have a total atmospheric control system now this thing is very very important they have a total atmospheric control system that offers the protection to the crew from chemical attacks biological attacks and nuclear threats now this thing is very very important you need to be aware of what are the various things that have been added to these particular ships the first thing they have added is this total atmospheric control system then the ship's fire power consists of vertically launched barrack 8 surface to air missiles it also has a provision for this barrack surface to air missiles and brahmos surface to surface cruise missiles now these things are very very important the destroyer will also be armed with indigenously developed torpedo launchers and anti submarine rocket launchers so it has lot of stealth if we talk about this particular ship right it can operate two multi role helicopters now it has a provision for helicopters as well like the sea king or the hal dhruv the ship has also rail less helicopter transversing and a hangar facility along with it the maximum or the major advantage of this particular ship is related to its speed very very important isko ek speed pe advantage hai kaise because uski ek configuration hai what is that configuration that is combined gas and gas configuration that integrates four gas turbines as a result it allows the ship to reach the speed of maximum of 30 knots that is 55 km per hour now these are the various technological capabilities that we have related to this particular ins marmagao ek to atmospheric control system hai barrack missiles you can accommodate you could have this brahmos missile then you can have the provision for multi role helicopters as well plus there is also this combined gas and gas configuration jahan pe it can reach the maximum speed up to let's say 55 km per hour or 30 knots i hope you are able to understand these technological capabilities because in mains you could have questions related to let's say discuss the technological capabilities of ins marmagao right i think you are able to understand this point and what are the strategic interest that is being uh, completed by this ins marmagao we have to increase our presence in indian ocean region as we have discussed yesterday as well due to the contestation there is between india and china right so this was this text page that discussed about this particular thing related to ins marmagao right okay chalo congratulations to one person that is with us chetu he has got a job in volvo organization so proud of you chalo guys so someone is getting selected among us right who is preparing for upsc and it feels very very good that someone is able to get the job so best of luck to chetu right okay now i think everyone is aware of this particular controversy that has happened between the aap and the delhi lieutenant governor right now the question here is on using the very very important try to understand using the public funded money for political advertisements this is the main debate over here 
using the public funded money for political advertisements. In let's say 2016, the thing you need to know, very very important you shall uh, know is, we political baate nahi karni hai, hume mudde ki baat karni hai. We have to talk about the crux. In this Supreme Court mandated, Union government formed a three member body to regulate these particular advertisements. Very very important. And the name of that committee was Committee on Content Regulation in Digital Advertising. Or hum agar baat kar sakte hai, Committee on Content Regulation in Government Advertising. So, this was a basic committee that was formed by the, let's say, union executive on the orders of the Supreme Court, right? The body is set up to regulate content of central and state government advertisements. Obviously, they are trying to regulate the content of central and state governments in this media platforms. The Supreme Court had also mandated states to constitute their own respective bodies. Supreme Court had this provision that states can also have their own respective bodies in order to regulate the content on this particular government advertising. Some of the guidelines that are mentioned are that government advertising should maintain political neutrality and avoid glorification of political personalities or projecting a positive impression of the party in power or a negative impression of a party's critical to the government. Now, this thing is very, very important to understand. We in a healthy democracy does not want abuse of power by the ruling party. So as a result, this regulations that this basically committee is basically regulating upon whether political parties are abusing their power, glorifying their leaders or are critical of the leaders who are not in the power. So as a result, this is the thing this committee has to regulate, right? They also should not be used at patronizing media houses. So, these were some of the guidelines that were issued in particularly context of government advertisement. You need to know about this particular committee that is committee on content in basically regulation in government advertising that was formed by the Union Ministry of Information and Broadcasting in April 2016, right? So, this is the important crux over here that you guys need to know. We do not want what amount of money they have asked Lieutenant Governor, right? And what is the stance of the AAP government? We will not be discussing about the political issues, right? As it to fir, agar hum baat karein, related to this new COVID strain that is now affecting China, our health minister has told that one shall stop the Bharat Jodo Yatra. So we will not be commenting upon that, right? It is up to the governments and it is up to the uh, governments of the center and the states to decide what is good for the country and what is good for the citizens. I hope you are getting my point, right? So, this committee is very, very important, okay. This was also on the text page, right? Now, this was all on our news page. Recently, a new, we could say, a tribe has been listed or added to the list of scheduled tribes of Chhattisgarh. Very, very important. That name of the tribe is Bhinjia community. Very, very important to understand. Ye sirf ek prelims fact hai jo aapko yaad hona chahiye, Bhinjia community. The bill will include Bhinjia community and synonyms for several other tribes on the state's ST list. And the order was basically Scheduled Tribes Order, 5th Amendment Bill 2022. This thing you need to understand. This order ke baad hi, ये कम्युनिटी को एड ऑन किया गया है किसके अंदर शेड्यूल ट्राइब लिस्ट किसके अंदर छत्तीसगढ़ के अंदर राइट ओके देयर वाज अनदर न्यूज़ पीएम टू एलिफेंट एक्लमेटाइजिंग टू अ हैबिटेट इन एमटीआर व्हाट इज एमटीआर एमटीआर इज मुदुमलाई टाइगर रिजर्व कैन एनीवन टेल मी वेयर इज दिस मुदुमलाई टाइगर रिजर्व लोकेटेड क्विकली राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स क्विकली Where is this Mudu Malai Tiger Reserve located? We, okay, some of you are saying the correct answer. It is basically in Tamil Nadu. Very good. It is situated in Tamil Nadu. Now, there was this problem of this elephant, particular elephant that was coming in the conflict with the humans. So, it was captured and it has been now released back to this Mudu Malai Tiger Reserve and the name of the elephant is PM. Two. Very, very important name of the element kya hai? PM2, jiska full form kya hai? Pandalur Makhana. Very, very important. 
इसका फुल फॉर्म लिख देता हूं मैं पंदलूर मखना नाउ व्हेन इट हैज बीन रिलीज बैक टू द मुदुमलाई टाइगर रिजर्व इट इज नाउ रिस्पॉन्डिंग वेल एंड वेरी वेल एक्लोमेटाइजिंग टू द होल मुदुमलाई टाइगर रिजर्व दैट इज अ वेरी वेरी गुड न्यूज फॉर रिलेटेड टू फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट दैट दे आर एबल टू रीलोकेट दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइगर एंड हैज स्टॉप द बेसिक कंफ्लिक्ट दे वर कमिंग इन द कॉन्टेक्ट विद द ह्यूमन सो दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी बिग फॉर दिस फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट दैट हैव री इंट्रोड्यूस दिस पर्टिकुलर PM Pandulur Makhana into back into Mudumlai Tiger Reserve. So you need to be aware about this little little facts, right? So Mudumlai Tiger Reserve कहाँ पे है? Which community has been included in the list of Chhattisgarh? Maybe you could be asked a question in the prelims where you have to match which of the area where this particular tribe belongs to, right? So these are the things that you guys need to know. I hope you are clear with this point, right? Okay. Now, I think. most of you would be knowing that certain countries in order to let's say increase their exports generally dump their products in the countries like let's say india saste daam pe at very very cheap prices they sell their products that is basically known as dumping in most of the scenarios china is accused of dumping its products right so india has already placed anti dumping duty on basically stainless steel that it imports from china obviously we do not want our domestic manufacturer to be at loss as a result we impose certain anti dumping duty now in this scenario and in this context very very important to understand that india or the directorate general of trade remedies very very important you need to know the authority as well has recommended the imposition of anti dumping duty on visco staple fiber very very important now this director general of trade remedies has recommended ke ye jo visco staple fiber that they are importing from indonesia they have to place anti dumping duty because the product imports of this particular product have been increasing let's say from this particular region of indonesia as a result our domestic manufacturers are somehow kind of feeling threatened with the increasing sale of the uh, imports that we are undertaking so as a result directorate general of trade remedies is thinking of getting a pl level playing field let's say this is the domestic manufacturer and these are the ex imports that are coming if imports are cheaper obviously this domestic manufacturer would be at loss in order to supplement it or complement it or offset offset the prices there needs to be a dumping duty or anti dumping duty that shall be placed on this particular product that is coming from indonesia so as to create a level playing field so these are the measures that are generally taken by the governments if they feel that domestic manufacturers are being threatened or there is the policy of certain country that is involving in the dumping practices that is selling their products at very very cheap prices this thing you need to know right i hope this point is clear to everyone so directorate general of trade remedies has recommended the imposition of anti dumping duty right so this was this thing that was there in the economic space that was very very important for you guys to understand okay okay we will now move on to the editorials page or we would see the newspaper at first theek hai ji ye dekh lo omicron variant linked to china spike sequence in india in july the thing we already discussed right nothing more here moving to the editorial page now the one article is related to india's vaccination strategy should accommodate for sars cov2 changes the thing that we have already discussed now there is a thing there could be new strains that might come out so there is this provision that the indian government has asked for is the genome sequencing plus asking the states that they need to be more more careful in the coming future and asking the citizens if they are not vaccinated get themselves vaccinated so this is the whole article related to this provision only right okay the second article they over here that we have try to read it 
द नीड टू मेक कैंसर ड्रग्स अफोर्डेबल नाउ देर वॉज और देर इज अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग आई थिंक एवरी वन नोज अबाउट दैट इज द ब्रेस्ट कैंसर नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग कॉजेज फॉर द लेट से कैंसर दैट इज प्रिवेलेंट अमंग वुमेन इन इंडिया राइट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रीट दिस ब्रेस्ट कैंसर वी हैव दिस ड्रग ड्रग कॉल्ड राइबोसिप देर इज अ ड्रग दैट इज एबल टू क्योर और प्रिवेंट दिस ब्रेस्ट कैंसर बट दिस ड्रग इज वेरी वेरी एक्सपेंसिव दिस ड्रग इज वेरी वेरी एक्सपेंसिव and this is a drug that has a patent over it that has a patent over it so in india its drug is available but it is available at a very very high cost so as a result normal people are not able to use this drug in order to prevent themselves from breast cancer so recently government was asked whether it shall consider on on this particular drug that they shall invoke compulsory license i think everyone knows what is a compulsory license compulsory license is a provision under the indian patents act where if the government feels that majority of the people in the country very very important majority of the people in the country are unable to access this medicine that is ribocyclib then it can issue compulsory license first of all second if it is a national emergency two scenarios mein compulsory license issue ho sakta hai emergency or national or second most of the people of the country are not able to access this particular drug so as a result government of india can invoke a compulsory license that means it can ask any domestic entity to manufacture this particular drug without the permission of patent owner so as a result this drug could become affordable so as a result this particular article is trying to say we need to make cancer drugs affordable that is we need to make sure ke hum kuch compulsory licensing jaisa provision we shall invoke it and try to protect majority of the women in the country that are facing this menace of breast cancer so this article is about this compulsory licensing thing and this particular drug and the issue of breast cancer and why india shall invoke this compulsory license i hope this point is clear to everyone right if this point is clear to everyone just write yes in the comment box okay now i think everyone is aware of the recent thing that has happened that taliban or the government in the afghanistan has stopped women from studying in the universities now this is a very very regressive step that has been taken by the taliban and it was one of the concerns that were there with this taliban government that they could take certain steps that would be regressive to the let's say women to the social emancipation of the women and it would take them back to the dark ages so as a result this article wants to say that we need to do more related in this scenario related to dealing with afghan uh, afghanistan or this taliban regime we need to cut our ties we need to make sure we have been providing assistance to them we need to be vigilant about the assistance that we are providing because their laws and the schemes of things they are doing are very very regressive to this women who are facing under a lot of stress if we talk about this particular taliban regime right so this is this article only talking about this particular thing right so there is nothing much to develop on it but it is about how india shall cater its foreign policy related to afghanistan right so this is the basic theme or the essence of the article right okay now this is nothing uh, this is related to ramanujan not important for us again benchmark for election commission appointments yesterday we have already discussed this so we don't need to discuss this in detail we have discussed this is ins marmagao and the latest clash between aap and lg there is nothing over here 
this is related to Delhi excise case, nothing important here. This is the thing that has been told by Amit Shah, our Home Minister, that NGOs flight flouting FCRA rules will not be tolerated, right? So basically, they are trying to have a, uh, a very tight, uh, we can say, thread on this particular uh, NGOs that are taking foreign funding and are trying to work against the, let's say, development of the country. So this thing is very, very important. Bas pata hona chahiye kya cheez hai, right? We have already discussed this PM2 elephant acclimatizing bill to amend ST list of this thing, right? Nothing important here. This is the thing again, hugs, screams and cries, Afghan woman anguished at university ban that we have already discussed. They are very, very upset at this particular university ban, right? Now one thing our RBI governor has said, private cryptos can hasten next financial crisis, right? So they are talking about basically the bitcoins, basically RBI is not uh, in favor of this cryptocurrencies from the starting itself. So it is totally in absolute contradiction to this private currencies. As a result, it's are saying it could lead to the next financial crisis. One of the major reason for him to say this is because this cryptocurrencies are totally unregulated. These currencies are totally unregulated, right? See, this is the thing that UN is trying to do, but Taliban government is an altogether different scenario. Taliban had been the, let's say, we could say the birth given by US itself. If you see the documentaries, the birth to Taliban has been given by the US government. Taliban went uncontrolled. Now, what they are doing is unparalleled and no one wants to get involved in Afghanistan, right? No one wants to get involved in Afghanistan. It is up to them how they are able to deal with it, right? Okay. Okay, so this was our sports page. Messi fever has gripped the whole world. I think everyone must be knowing of the situation of the videos that are coming in the uh, Instagram, Facebook, how the people of the country have united in this spectacular win that this great sport crazy nation has brought to the people by winning the World Cup, right? I hope this is point is clear to everyone. So nothing new is coming in news in these days in the newspapers, but we have to still read it and read at the important aspects like we have the INS Marmagao, we had the editorials, we had this ribosicily drug. You need to know about the compulsory licensing thing that is there in the Indian Patent Act and when it could be evoked, right? So guys, I think this is it. We have completed the session. If you have any doubt, you can ask me, right? Otherwise, stay safe. Be alert, maintain social distancing, hai, wear your mask and be aware about the situation that COVID could bring as our respective country and ministries are trying to educate the people. So thank you so much guys. Thank you so much. We would see each other tomorrow, same time, 9 a.m. Thank you guys. Vicky, my your hairstyle is too good. Ya mere ko to chote lag rahe hain baal, theek hai koi nahi. Thode kal humne katwaye hain baal, theek hai? Chalo. Thank you so much.